All right. Uh, thanks all for joining me really fast here. I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of our visible remote collaboration tool. Uh, so I've got my colleagues Sato and Felix. Uh, they're already in the VR meeting that I just scheduled for them. So I'm going to put the headset on and we're going we're gonna to go meet them over there. All right. Let me get my hands over here. Hey, Felix and Sato. How look? Good to see you. Awesome. So I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of Visible. Uh, right now, we're, we've got Sato over on a desktop. We've actually got Felix in our warehouse. Uh, he's on a projection system. I'm here in San Bruno, California. Sato is uh, down in Anaheim. And Felix is in Santa Barbara, where our headquarters is. So I'm just going to go through this uh, kind of, you know, uh, standard presentation that we've put together to just give you guys an idea of how the use cases in VR work. So as the presenter, uh, I'm controlling the pace of this presentation. Um, and we really kind of follow like a PowerPoint style layout here. So uh, I've got my slide clicker and I go ahead and I click the first slide and that takes us to this uh, cool addition uh, of all these different videos that just popped into this room. And what's nice about these videos is I can actually, in addition to being able to start and stop them with a remote control, I can actually grab them, pick them up and pass them around. So Felix over there can pick it up with his wand controller and he can look at this video uh, Sato's got controls as well on the desktop. Um, we're recording his perspective mostly right now. So this is a different operating room layout and a projection system. Uh, this is just showing different types of training use cases. What's really cool about this program is you can actually just take this existing content and you can just drop it directly into a VR environment. So you've just got that really nice ability to just kind of have this content right in front of you, uh, be able to pick it up, pass it around. So I'll go on over here. This is kind of the original use case that we had envisioned for, um, for Visible. Uh, and that's uh, as a sales presentation tool. So uh, this is kind of your virtual trade show booth that you've got right here. Um, and then we can go ahead and actually bring in these, uh, these virtual products. So if Felix, if you don't mind passing one of those power drills over to me. So we just got these power drill models right off of Sketchfab. So it's a great online resource for, uh, for different content that you can have. Um, these are actually photogrammetry models. So rather than have a person model this from scratch, uh, it was created with a, a 3D scanner or even just with a DSLR camera. So um, it's a pretty nice way of being able to, to have content in VR uh, very quickly. You can just download a GLTF file off of Sketchfab, drop it directly into Visible. Uh, this is another way of experiencing VR content, a uh, more traditional way but for people who have ever done something like an Oculus Go or an, uh, you know, Google Cardboard, and that's 360 video. So Visible supports 360 video. You can actually just pull your 360 video sphere into Visible and just drop it. It becomes an asset in the scene just like this. You can see Felix can poke his head in there. It's just like a fishbowl. But me as the presenter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to just open up this whole scene for us here. So this is a nice Hawaii scene right here. And if I go over here, I can pull over my, um, my uh, PowerPoint tool. So we have all these tools built in into every presentation. So I can go ahead, I can press play, and then we can watch these people on the boat, watch the drone fly up in the air. And I can actually go and use my, um, I can use my uh, uh, laser pointer tool and uh, point out where the drone is. And it's really cool because we're in this 360 video together, but we actually have physical relationships with each other that are three-dimensional. So we can communicate, so I can point at Felix's feet there. Um, so you can see all these different things and we can actually have this meaningful uh, conversation about what would normally be kind of a, a 2D space. So let me go ahead and bring up my, uh, I'll take us out of here and bring back up my, my slide clicker. So uh, one of the things that we first encountered with Visible uh, was that a lot of people didn't actually have the types of PC VR systems that we needed to have this really kind of rich interactive experience where we're all talking and moving in real time. Uh, so what we had to do is we had to figure out a way to get a demo system to people and that's where this thing came in. This is called the VizBox. So this is just a, an animation that shows the interior design of the VizBox here. But you can actually see that there's a, um, a VR headset in here. Uh, so you can take that out, put it on your head exactly. Um, and this is, uh, this is a system that we can actually just ship fully calibrated, fully set up. Uh, it arrives at your client's location. They can pull it out and just enter the, the meeting ID and they're in, in the scene. Uh, one of the cool things too um, that we built into this program uh, as a way of, of just explaining uh, this types of environment is, is this right here. So this is a little 
user interface. This is the biz box. This box here holds the Lenovo laptop. So you can see this guy's name is Robo. And the reason why his name is Robo, and I can hear him right now because I'm just, I'm in the, the audio for this meeting. Um, but what he's doing is actually explaining the different pieces of this tool. So we use this avatar recording technique to um, create training content, to create, uh, basically it's just shortcutting the need to have a live person in at all times, right? And the really cool thing about that is the way that you create it is you just put the VR headset on, you hit record, and then you have that saved as an actual 3D asset that you can then add to your scene again. So just, just another sort of interesting way that, that we're using this, this tool as a, as a, you know, across different use cases and businesses. So uh, here's sort of our last little sequence that we have here, which is a, more of a training and education environment. So you see our 747 coming out of the ceiling here. Um, <clears throat> and again, these are just, you know, models that we were able to find online. And uh, I can take apart this, this engine right here and Felix can actually, you know, pass these things around. And what's cool is if you're in a, if you're in a training scenario, especially if you're training or learning about something that has some kind of aspect of, uh, of 3D, uh, you know, qualities to it, right? So something like this, this, uh, this, this plane engine here, then having this VR environment is, is so much more meaningful than just your traditional PDF. But what's cool is we actually brought our PDF in. So Felix, if you want to grab the... I think there's another one that's even more illustrative. Yep, the third one back, that one right there. Um, so this is pretty cool. What I really like about this is you see these same um, nozzles right here. Uh, they're illustrated in 2D on this diagram. And it's all about how is the, the uh, jet fuel injected into this uh, area of the engine. And I can actually illustrate that with our pencil tool. I can take this and go boop, you know, just like boop, boop, just like that. I'm hitting my plant here in real life. Um, so this is, uh, this is just a, um, a way of illustrating a 3D concept in a 3D space, right? So traditional learning, you're learning about 3D, uh, 3D concepts in a two-dimensional space, uh, relying more on imagination. This is really gonna get a concept across very quickly. So we use this for training as well as for education. Um, so it's just a pretty, pretty, uh, I think a, an enjoyable, very engaging way of learning. What's fun is that, you know, I can see if Felix is looking at me, if Felix is looking at what I'm talking about, I can see where Sato's looking. So we have this kind of, uh, you know, really seeing each other's sort of physical reactions to these types of scenarios as well. So you, you really do have, uh, undivided attention in these types of VR environments. Let me go ahead and let's take us to the last slide here. And that's just a quick explanation. Well, see, as, a, as the presenter, I can go ahead and I can delete all of this uh, drawing that I just made. And then this is just a little overview of our presentation designer content creation tool. So I won't get into that too much right now. Um, it is a video that I can just play, so I can pull up my, my remote here and just go ahead and press play on it. So um, now you're seeing the actual uh, way that everything's built. But we have a much longer and more detailed uh, video explaining how you're building this environment. The, the really key piece is that there's no programming whatsoever. We really made this application to be as much of a you know, drag and drop, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint level of difficulty type VR creation environment. So it's really geared to people who don't have a programming background but are familiar with these types of you know, content creation tools. Like if you can make a PowerPoint presentation, then this is not that far away from that in terms of difficulty. So um, I definitely invite you all to come try it online. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for attending this, uh, this quick demo here. Appreciate it.